This is the first narrated presentation for Biology 101. Module 1, Introduction to Biology, includes three narrated presentations. Let's get started. The learning objectives for Module 1 relate to foundational concepts in the life sciences. Module 1, Presentation 1.1, begins by defining the term biology and listing examples of several important types of scientists that study biology. These are also known as biologists. This is followed by a discussion of the necessary properties of living organisms, the levels of organization from the individual molecules that make up living things, how living things interact with each other at the population level, and how those populations interact with the environment. Important information for this course can be found in your learning management system, in your syllabus, and of course in other resources and information provided by your instructor. The online textbook for this course, Introduction to Biology, may be found by clicking on the link provided in this slide, where you will also find information on the Learning by Doing and Did I Get This links provided in your open text. There are resources these are resources that are necessary for you to fully grasp the concepts in this course. Grading for this course comes from a variety of sources, such as exams, video responses, various activities, notes, and lab assignments. It is important to first define biology. Biology is the study of living things. This includes humans, monkeys, lions, fish, spiders, jellyfish, plants such as pine trees, fungi such as mushrooms, and even single-celled bacteria like the E. coli bacteria found in your gut. A biologist is a scientist that studies a living thing or a group of living things and how they interact with the environment around them. There are several types of biologists. This list shows just a few of the many different types of biologists and the fields they study, such as a physiologist who studies systems within an animal, an ecologist or a person that studies the environment, and so on. Can you think of other types of biologists? Why do we even study biology? It is important to study biology for many reasons. Some of them are listed here, and we will learn about several reasons throughout this course. Biology, specifically environmental biology, allows humans to understand how ecosystems change due to both natural processes and human-mediated processes, such as carbon dioxide emission. Biology is an important co component of the agriculture industry and has allowed for many advances in farming techniques. The field of human health, or health sciences, includes the fields of medicine and nursing. This is based on the principles established by biologists and other scientists. The, biologi the biological information gained by studying human health leads to improved treatments and cures for many diseases. Lastly, studying organisms and how they survive in the wild helps humans develop alternative energy. For example, single-celled organisms that comprise plankton live in the ocean and can produce chemicals similar to oil that can be used in the future to fuel cars and homes. There are seven properties of life. In order for an organism or a living system to be considered living, it must contain each of these properties. The first property of life is the cell. All living organisms are made of at least one cell. Cells are the smallest unit that contain all of the properties of life. Second is energy. All living organisms are able to create energy from raw materials, such as that obtained from food. Energy is necessary in order to carry out work needed to maintain life. Third is the ability to maintain homeostasis, or relatively constant internal temperature despite external changes. Think of our body's ability to maintain an average temperature despite being in cold or hot weather. 
The fourth property of life is the ability for the organism or living system to adapt to the environment. Fifth is the ability for the organism or living system to be able to respond to stimuli in their environment. Sixth is the ability for the living organism or system to reproduce. Seventh is the ability for the organism to carry out metabolic processes, which are the chemical reactions in the organism. Remember, all seven of these properties must be contained by an organism or system in order for it to be considered a living system or organism. To review what we have discussed so far, biology is the science involved with the study of living things, from microscopic bacteria to humans to blue whales. There are many specific fields of study that fall under the umbrella of biology. There are seven properties of life. Cells, the ability to obtain energy, the ability to maintain homeostasis, adaptation over time, the ability to respond to stimuli, the ability to reproduce offspring, and the ability to over undergo metabolic processes.